Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm in the mood to make a treehouse. So let's get cracking. Of course, friends, step one is to create new design. Once in, let's name it Treehouse and put our initials after it. MDH, and I'm going to put a four because I've done this once or twice, but with the new interface, we're going to build it again. The other thing I want to recommend you is we're going to use a ladder for our treehouse. If you haven't done my treehouse code blocks ladder, there is a link above. It's really quick, easy, and then you'll be able to use that part in your treehouse. So make sure you check above so you can find that code blocks lesson. So if we're going to build a treehouse, we need a tree. I want you to go to shape generators, and I need you to switch to all. And then you need to hit more again and again and again. Now the reason we do this, friends, is because we want to get to the tree. If you want to see all the shapes at once, I have created a sweet Jamboard. The Jamboard helps you learn the buttons in Tinkercad, and it has a catalog of all these shapes, including the sweet tree that we're going to use in just a moment. So we click more, and more, and more, and more, and more. And we finally get down to the cool tree. Notice I made it a favorite. That is so I can use it again and again. Because this little tree gets really complex, we're going to change two numbers here. We're going to take the length and make it 20. We're going to take the radius and type and make it 3. Do not mess with these any more than this because it does get more complex the more we play. And this does work really well for the tree we're making. Now, while we're still in these all shapes, friends, let's grab the awesome house. If we come back here, you can see it is purple, and this also has properties. It is amazing and fun, and we'll have a tree house in minutes. Friends, this house has a ton of fun parameters, and if you want a house on the ground, you can go crazy with those. For our tree house, I only want you to make one mod. Scroll down and find the patio size, and I want you to make it 10 instead of 15. When you do this, it shrinks to a size that's more like a treehouse patio, and it gets rid of the doghouse, which makes more sense for a treehouse because it's hard to get a dog up in a tree. So friends, it's time to put our house in the tree. Let's select both of those, click a line, click the tree, Tell it center and center. Notice if we look at it from a corner, it's a lot easier to understand what that center is. And then I'm gonna set it to top. That's a start for the height I want, but I wanna click on the house and I'm gonna do control up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's a good spot to put my house. Now there are a ton of branches in my house right now, which is a bit of a problem. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide the tree really quick. There's your hide button. We are going to set the work plane on the floor of the house. And we're gonna go back to the basic shapes. Once you do this, we're gonna find the hole. And we wanna make this box the same size as our house. So if we click our house, you can see it is 27 by 31. So we're gonna click on the box and make it 27 and press enter. And we're gonna make it 31. And then we're gonna make it crazy tall. So it's taller than everything. Now when we do a line, so we select both, click a line, click the house, and we want it centered and centered. Now friends, this is really cool. When we do show all, we can now click underneath and get rid of our house for a second. And then when we group these, which does take a moment because this tree was complex and this is why we didn't mess with the tree because the more branches you have the longer it takes if we give this a moment it will cut out the place where our house is going to sit friends when we do show all check it out we have got a tree house and the branches are all cut away and our house is sitting there pretty darn slick i'm going to really quickly change my color so it looks a little more realistic let's go with a brown for the tree I'm going to take the uh, tree house and I'm going to make it a blue. I want to go to the characters and I want to add a cool creature or character. Remember, you can hit more and more and more to see all the different people. I'm going to put the work plane right here. And I'm going to bring in this little fella right here. Notice he's crazy huge, but then we're going to hold shift with the one hand. And we're going to shrink him down to an awesome size. So it looks like he's celebrating. Now, if you've done enough of my videos, friends, we've also got a little person that we created with different clothes. So now I can bring this fella in as well. 
and we can shrink him down so he fits. And now there are several people together. I'll zoom in with the fit view. So once again, we're learning all the basic skills and we're having fun moving our people together. Now it looks like they're both celebrating. Don't forget as you're in here adding creatures and characters, you can also have a ton of fun giving them eyes. If you've done my eyeball lesson, you can use our eyeballs. You can also use scribble to make features, which is a ton of fun as well. Really quickly, this is my code blocks ladder. You can see it turns out really sweet. If you have not built it, there will be a link above. When you're done building it, you export it as a part. Of course, name it ladder. And then I never lock the part size, save the shape, and then when I return to Tinkercad, I can move to your creations, and you will see in a second, it just takes a second for it to refresh. Our ladder will appear. I'm gonna zoom out. I do wanna put it down at ground level though, so I'm gonna do work plane. There is my ladder. Once again, it is crazy huge, but because we did not lock scaling, I can hold down shift and I can shrink it to the size that fits our cool project. Quick little fit view, use the arrow keys to nudge it into place, rotate it 90 degrees this way, and then rotate it probably 22 and a half degrees that way. And then once you've got it aligned, you can nudge it into place so that you're happy. Friends, do remember, if you ever just grab it and stretch it, that takes it out of scale. Control Z, if you ever want to grow this, once you have twisted it, you need to do shift stretch to get it to the exact angle you want. Really quickly, friends, let's add one more cool thing in here. Go down to shape generators, and I need you to switch to all and hit more shapes. And we're going to look for one called Carcassonne. This one only takes about three clicks. All right, friends, so let's get our work plane back on the ground. I'm going to go inside the building. I'm going to move these little guys out of the way so I have some more room. And let's bring Carcassonne out here. He comes in laying down, but I'm going to look at it from an angle. This way I can stand him up the 90 degrees. Remember, if you stay inside this ring right here, it makes it easier. You can also just type 90. Press D to drop it. Hold down shift and shrink so that he fits the people. And then friends, it is like magic. Instead of right now, inns and cathedrals, if you switch to princess and dragon, all of a sudden it's a girl. I'm going to do control D, nudge this across a little bit. And instead of princess and dragon, I'm going to go down to traders and builders and boom, all of a sudden we have got a pet pig that somehow made it to the top of our treehouse. Friends, explore, figure out what else is in there, have fun with these, make your treehouse awesome. Alrighty friends, so I'm hoping you're having a lot of fun with this and you've got a lot of ideas for how you're gonna make yours incredible. Friends, don't forget if you make something awesome, you can always hit the collaborate button, generate a link, copy the link, and then you can reach out to me. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. I am HL Mod Tech on all three of those. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Of course, friends, you can also visit hlmodtech.com. The lesson you have just completed is actually part of our multi-lesson projects. Here is the treehouse page. You are obviously doing the build the treehouse lesson, but now you can find all these other cool ones as well. Friends, if friends, you can also friends, if you have a question or comment, you can also use the sweet messenger service. Fill that out, and you can reach out to me almost instantly. So my friends, that wraps up Treehouse Part 1. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.